They might not have had the actual airplanes, but that didn't stop first responders from holding a full scale emergency response drill at Tulsa International Airport today. 11 agencies, including Tulsa Police and Fire, TIA Police and Fire and the National Guard helped with today's drill. But because of an increase in post COVID travel, they had to adjust it slightly. Two News Oklahoma's Caitlin Rivas explains. These drills are designed to help prepare first responders and hopefully save lives in the event of an emergency at the airport. Today's scenario, an F-16 colliding with a passenger plane. Every three years, Tulsa International Airport and multiple other agencies perform these full-scale emergency response drills. The FAA requires the drills every three years for the airport to remain compliant. But this drill looked different because of one missing piece, the plane. We originally had a plane, but I think with um, with people flying now, they're all the planes are all being used, so that's a good thing. So unfortunately, the plans and schedules didn't get it worked out as like we would like it to, but we're going to use the best that we can. We got some airplane parts out there. Uh, we got the victims, what we're really here for, uh, so we can do the smash casualty and everything else like that. More than 80 people volunteered to play victims in the crash and were given a sheet of paper describing their injuries so they could act it out for responders. So there are going to be about 75 injuries. Uh, four fatalities and probably another 80 or so uninjured people. Hammer says it's important to practice every possibility ahead of an emergency. This is the first time that we can make sure our plans actually work. If there needs to be any adjustments, that's what we're here for, is to test the plan and to test our resources available so we can plan uh, for better in the next time if we need to make adjustments. Now on Friday, all the agencies involved will conduct an after action review to see what went well, what went wrong and what they can do better. In Tulsa, Caitlin Revis, 2 News, Oklahoma.